What is going on, my Bagel Bites? It is Mr. Bagel Bites here, and unfortunately, we can't get into ranked battles because the season has ended. We did place in the top 9,000. I think the place was exactly like 9164, something along those lines. Regardless, they did give us a heaping pile of 600 battle points, uh, yeah, BP, and like three gold bottle caps, too. So we don't, we can't go into ranked right now, which kind of sucks, but we can still show off in casual. I mean, it's a little, it's a little less cool. But uh, I can show off this team, which is kind of like a hybrid of like my two favorite teams I've showed on the channel. Uh, and, and something a little bit different with the Whimsy Cut. We'll have to get into the battle to show it. I'll go more into detail on like sets and stuff at the end of the video. Because, uh, you know, we in this. We going. We found a guy. We're probably going to face some legendaries and stuff. I don't know how much uh, different that's going to really end up being. I mean, this is interesting. I don't know what this is. He's got Vicavolt. I feel like there might be some. No, I don't think it's Trick Room. I don't think anything here sets Trick Room. I was thinking Delmise might for a second, but I don't think so. Uh, there's a lot of good Pokemon on his team, honestly. And then some weird stuff, too. I think we're going to use Whimsicott. I really like Whimsicott here. I really like uh, Max here, too, as well. So he's probably... That might be the lead, actually. Oh, and then we'll make him think it's like beat-up strategy. It's not, by the way. Shh, don't let him know. It's a secret. Uh, Stalagma here, Duraludon, isn't bad. But I don't think... Eh, he might be. What does he do against Mudsdale, actually? Hmm. I guess Gyarados is about it. Is that the play? There's no Defiant, is there? No, there's no Defiant there. I'm going to bring Mudsdale on the back because he's really good. Uh, I consider bringing Gastrodon for the um, the Gyarados here. But I think uh, Duraludon here is going to be better than Gastrodon, in my opinion. We'll see what he leads. Alright, let's get into it. We got J. Big J. J, -J, -J. I wish you could choose the stadium that you battled in. Although I do really like the ice one here. Oh, it's got, I think... Ooh, ooh, it's a shiny Gyarados. Oh, man. <laughs> Not going to be seeing very many of those because of the uh, <laughs> the event going on. We'll get to see if it's Moxie, too, right here. We're faster than Gyarados if it is Intimidate, which is good to know. Okay, so it's not Moxie. So what I think I'm going to... Ooh, he's probably... Is he just going to Blizzard? I feel like he might just Blizzard here, honestly. So what I think I'm going to do is... We're going to we're gonna Charm Gyarados. Uh, and we're going to Max Flare. Well, actually, wait. That might not be the better play. It might be better to actually, like, Moon Blast. Like, just double into the Ice Cream Cone, because it's probably Sashed. And then we can avoid a Blizzard and then set up a Charm next turn. Because I don't think Gyarados can one-shot either of our Pokemon. And if we can get rid of a Hail with the Sun right here, that would be really cool. Man, Dynamax moves are so sweet. Oh, and we actually get to see our names too since it's uh, casual and not ranked. So we'll go ahead and get this off. Boop. And then here's Max Flare. This will also weaken any water moves if he tries to use them with Gyarados. So that's really good too since we're setting Sun. By the way, just a heads up, Charm is really, really good. Oh, he's taunting. I'm kind of okay with that. So what do you, what do you go? Well, actually, yeah, what do you do here? If it's Delmise, we just one-shot it. If it's Excadrill, ooh, it's Moldbreaker Excadrill, too. So I think, ooh, I'd really like to charm it. That stinks. We're not going to get the used charm. But we could just, like, double into Excadrill here. I'm not really worried about the Gyarados at this point. But we could, because that's probably Sashed, since the... Well, we didn't find out. So I think we're going to... Yeah, I think we're going to do this. What will do more? 90? I keep forgetting that Energy Ball is 90, which is really sweet. 
Uh, so we'll energy ball into here, and then we'll max knuckle to try and finish it off. No, he's probably... Mm, we'll see what happens. Oh, wow, that did a lot more... Oh, it was a crit. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> Boop. What does your team do, buddy? We're also going to raise Max's attack here by one stage, so that's really good. I mean, that's whatever. That's going to do, like, zero damage. You don't even need to charm. <laughs> Who's your last Pokemon? I think it's probably Delmise. Yeah, that makes sense. Because he was afraid of the, um, the Gastrodon. So I guess we can just, like, Moon... I mean, just double up again. I don't see why not. And the next turn we can Wild Charge into Gyarados slot. Because it's a minus one Gyarados in the sun. He still hasn't Dynamaxed yet, but I think um, in the sun, even if he... He could Max Guard here. That would probably be the best play for him, is Max Guard Delmize. Um... I mean, if he Dynamaxes Gyarados, it's really not a huge deal at all, honestly. I don't know what Delmize does, though. Which is what he's going into. We definitely outspeed it. If he Max Guards here to, like, uh, stop some damage, that'll be a really good play for him. It's not, though. So I think now we probably just KO, because we're plus one in the sun. Oh, yeah. Man, I misranked already. <laughs> Man, sweep with sweep with Arcanine. Too easy. And now, what, do you waterfall again? You thunder. Okay. So you do have other moves, too. It was definitely, like, probably support dose. We do lose our Dynamax form here, but it's kind of whatever. Because we have all four of our Pokemon. Uh, I guess we can just Moonblast here. It's whatever. We can just double in and lock into ch uh, lock into Wild Charge. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> we'll take some Recoil, but it doesn't. Re oh, that was a that was Rocky Helmet, really. That was a lot of Rocky Helmet. Jeez, Proc the Berry. Okay, thank God we don't have to sit through the animation. <laughs> no, hey, we won. <laughs> Normally when you uh, still proc, we might have been like one or two health off. Irrelevant. Let's. I guess we'll go ahead and get into another one. Because um, I still want to like show off the team a bit more. That didn't get to showcase really anything other than Choice Band Arcanine just going click win. Click win. <laughs> Hagop. Or Hagip. Kind of an interesting name. Ooh, okay. Now this is a team that... um. That one of the guys I'm going to regional with, or not regional, but yeah, regional with this weekend wants to bring. Something very similar to it, at least, if not the same. Hmm. So I really like Gastrodon here against everything but the Eldegost, and even then I'm not overly worried about it. Because I don't think it could survive a Bandit Arcanine Flare Blitz or Max Flare. Um, also, Mudsdale's really good here. Duraludon could Oko the Grimmsnarl that he's probably gonna bring. Oh, you know who's actually really good here is freaking Whimsicott. Even if that's special Dragapult, which it probably is. Yeah, Whimsicott's actually really good here. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna bring Mudsdale Whimsicott. Because he doesn't really do anything to it. Um, Max in the back here for... Really, like, three of these Pokemon, or it's, he's really good against three, three and a half. Um, I could bring Grimmsnarl after we set, like, charms up to set screens. But I think I'm going to bring Duraludon just in case we need to, like, finish something off. Actually, what's he do to Gastrodon besides Eldegast? Nah, this is fine. No, I think this is optimal. Because he doesn't know that we're... I mean, like, theoretically, we could be, like, Trick Room Whimsicott too. Which is a really scary thing. <laughs> now, this team is kind of dangerous. Ooh, I like your shirt. It matches. But mine's under a uh, Mole Breaker and 
Arc Arcanai. So we will get a minus one here, unfortunately, assuming it's not justified Arcanine. Okay, yeah, there's no reason for it to be, though. <laughs> so we will get the minus one here, which kind of sucks. Okay, so I think we're going to go ahead... We could set the Tailwind here, which wouldn't be bad. Um, but that's really just for the rest of our team. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and charm the uh, Mole Breaker here. And then go for Max Rockfall on Arcanine to set the Sand, since um, since that's not Sand Rush we know now. And we'll get some Stamina Boost, too. Because Arcanine shouldn't be able to do anything to us. He's probably going to burn us, which will suck. But we'll just be so bulky. <laughs> So there's the charm. I'm just gonna go ahead and lower that attack there. Okay, so it is special. That's fine. Unless he double. <gasps> oh! 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 It is horn drill. So we'll go ahead and set that sand now. Oh my gosh, what a guy. You're the worst kind of guy. Um, We could try and finish it off. I don't think, I don't think it would finish it off. We could, uh, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and set the Tailwind here, just for future Pokemon, and go for the Max Knuckle on Mole Breaker. I'm assuming... Okay, so I'm assuming he can still Oko with Horn Drill Dynamax Pokemon. I, I haven't actually tried it, but I'm going to assume... Okay, he's actually going to Dynamax here. I figured that would be the choice that he went with, as far as like who he was going to Dynamax. But I didn't know what he was going to do this turn. So there's the Tailwind. But he's also harsh... His attack was harshly lowered. Whimsicott will yeah, Whimsicott survives that, which is kind of funny. <laughs> so he probably doubled into Mudsdale because of this. So we're going to be able to lower his attack again for free, basically, and get a stamina boost here. That's probably targeting into Mudsdale. Oh, yeah. Can <laughs> we get another stamina boost? That's fine. Go ahead and raise your special defense, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Horse is unkillable, boys. And we set our attack back to normal, too, because of this. Wow. That did way more damage. Oh, and we get... Oh, oh, crit. Yeah, that makes way more sense. Man, I'm glad we get all the, like, the cool procs in uh, casual battles. <laughs> Do we live this? No, I didn't think so. That would have been amazing if we did, though. So, horse is now plus two defense with sand and... Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and send Max out here. So Max definitely outspeeds Ar Arcanine, or um, uh, let me think here, Excadrill, but it's also kind of not a threat at this point. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and Max Knuckle him, and then, wait, what did I click? Oh, I saw Close Combat and thought it was Max Knuckle. <laughs> um, we could lock into Extreme Speed. And take out the Arcanine. No, I don't think... Nah, yeah, I think this is probably the best play. Because then, um... Max Quake to high... Yeah, that might not be bad. Then Mudsdale's literally just unkillable. Oh, okay, so he's trying to stop the, uh... The extreme speed prediction. So that's smart. Steel Spike into Arcanine? Nope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so he's going to go ahead and raise his defenses, which is smart. But we're all going to boost our special defense here. And we're Assault Vested um, Horse, too. Yeah, by the way, Horse is just literally, like, unkillable. <laughs> 
So now Arcanine's going to be plus one in Spadef. Unfortunately, he's locked into Extreme Speed. Do we, we might end up swapping him. I'm not actually sure. It depends on what he has in the back. Because also this is going to chip Dragapult too. And I think we have one more turn left. I think we've Max Knuckled him. Or no, we Rockfall first turn, didn't we? That is our last turn. That's kind of fine. Ah. Oh, it's shiny. That's kind of cool. The Cotton Down really stinks for... Um, for us because Dragapult's really good here. I think it's actually still fine for like this. Do we... I mean, we could Rock Slide, but we're not going to outspeed it. Um, no, it's not Fairy. I kind of want to check our <laughs> boost. We're plus three defense, plus one Spadef. So, I really don't want to get rid of that. Hmm. So, I might actually swap into no I don't think it's necessary I'd rather keep him at full health because if he is he gonna dragon move I think he's gonna rain I think he's gonna make rain or no he can't he dynamax already yeah actually I think I'm gonna go into stalagma here and mudsdale gonna go ahead and uh high horsepower dragapult yeah I think that's a fine play because then we can reset intimidate too Because also, uh, since Sand is up... Yeah, I thought he... Yeah, that makes sense. That's a good play on him. It would have been. Oh. Okay, so he's... So he is physical, too. So he literally can't hurt us. And they're gonna take some more chip damage, which is really good. So, we're Life Orb now, so I could steal... Hmm. I think I'm gonna Flash Cannon here. I think we just double up into Elder. Actually, I know what I'm gonna do. Here we go. Yeah. So we'll flash cannon into Elder Ghost, and then um. Yeah, that'll do good damage. So Cotton Down happens, so that'll rate or lower our speed a little bit. But it's kind of fine because Mudsdale doesn't outspeed anything. <laughs> Phantom Force is gonna proc. Oh, it's targeted into Stalagma. I wasn't expecting that. So high horsepower will go... Oh, and it's life orb too. So I think that'll put into life orb range. This shouldn't do too much. That's really fine, honestly. That's cool. We get a stamina boost too. And here's a high horsepower. We can connect. We don't actually KO. That actually really stinks, because we lose the... Um, Oh, wow, we lose a lot of stuff right on that turn. I think we just go for Steel Beam this turn. And uh, I think we're probably still going to outspeed still uh, Stalagma. Uh, but he's going to die. I think we have to sacrifice him, which stinks. I can try to go for a Heavy Slam, but I really want to take out that Dragapult. I think it's the main threat. Because it does... Yeah, we have to take out... Um, Oh, dang it. It is Phantom Forcing again. Ooh, who do you target? Alright, you missed. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, we have to get rid of this. And we'll get a free swap in, too. That's another reason Steel Beam can be kind of cool. Um, sure, we're going to lose some speed right here. Whatever. But we get to bring in a, po a swap, too. So we get a fresh max. Okay, so we each get opposing Arcanines out. So on one hand, I could extreme speed to guarantee the knockout on the... Because uh, he does... Ooh, we're jolly, so we're probably speed tying. Or no, we're adamant. This is adamant because we're banded, aren't we? So he's probably jolly. So on one hand we could guarantee, because there's no way that it's killing, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to do, oh, I hate to do that. I hate doing moves like that. But I really want to make sure that he doesn't burn Mudsdale. 
I think it's still fine. Because mm, then we guarantee that he won't get two hits. Yeah, I think I have to extreme speed here, which kind of sucks. But then we'll guarantee a, a hit on... I think I might even heavy slam just to, like, guarantee it more. Yeah, I'm actually going to heavy slam just to make sure we don't miss. Ugh, that's unfortunate. I'm just trying to make sure we optimize our winning as much as possible. Phantom Force procs. Doesn't KO. Life Orb damage will happen, which should win. I would very be surprised if Heavy Slam doesn't KO at this range. Yeah, even at minus one, which I think we were. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> a little scary for a second there, but we were in a really good position. I didn't even mean to Heavy Slam there, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, he just surrendered. Good battle. Um, um, hog up? Yeah, hog up. Good battle. So we'll go ahead and end that there. It stinks that we don't have ranked to do, so these battles are kind of pointless other than to like play test. But I'll go ahead and show it off, the team off, because that was mostly what I was going for. And if this video hits 14 likes, I'll go ahead and upload this to the Twitter and Instagram like I have been doing the, uh, the team code so you can borrow the team too. Because it's a lot of fun, and I think it's really good. So we'll go ahead and show off Mudsdale. It's the same Mudsdale from the previous video. Assault Vest, max HP, max attack. Thing's a monster. Stamina's so good. Pokemon is so good. Good good coverage, good moves, good Pokemon. Horse very good. <laughs> um, yeah. Max, our, our, G, our Arcanine, we see pretty often here. Close combat, wild charge, extreme speed, flare blitz. Really good coverage. Max attack, max speed, max... Uh, and Intimidate there, because I like, I think Intimidate's still good, I just think with all the Defiant users, it's kind of seemed less prevalent, uh, lately. I swapped off Specs for Life Orb, and put on Flash Cannon on, uh, Duraludon here, to, to give more options, really, so I don't feel locked into Steel Beam, because <laughs> that happens a lot, um, yeah, I mean, really, that's about it, uh, max speed, max... Uh, special attack, stalwart ability, so good. Such a good Pokemon. Picks up so many KOs. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just really good. Good good typing. This this team has a lot of good coverage. And I think that's another reason it does really well too. Gastrodon, unfortunately, as I always say, really good Pokemon. Too good in my opinion. Uh, we use Modest still. Max HP, max defense, um, Storm Drain ability. Scald, Earth Power, Protect, Recover. There's some people that opt to not use Recover, but I think it's just so important on, um, yeah. I think it's just such an important move, honestly. Like, Ice Beam is really good, and the Ice Coverage is nice, but that's kind of not what Gastrodon's there to do most of the time. Like, he, he can do damage, but he's not, like, there to be your damage source. Um, there's, like, the option to, like, Dynamax turn one. So, like, theoretically, you could, like, set Hail with him. But really, I think it's just better, if you do Dynamax lead with him, to just set, like, uh, Max Earths to, like, raise your special defense and, like, just make him bulky and basically unkillable. Especially with Rindo. Kind of like we do with Horse. Same idea, because ground Pokemon are just really good. Um, yeah. Gastrodon. Just really good Pokemon. Really good ability. Really good. <laughs> Our Whimsicott, we didn't get to show it off as much as I'd like to, but I still think it was important. That charm early game definitely can matter. Screw that guy trying to use Horn Drill. Actually get out of here. <laughs> it's 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 a thing, unfortunately, but I don't like to see it. Charm, Energy Ball, Moon Blast, Tailwind. Charm is amazing. So many teams are using physical Pokemon. It's the very offensive metagame, and Charm is really good. Uh, definitely recommend it. Um... I'm probably going to be using it for a while. This is just... It's really good Pokemon. Really good. And last but not least, we didn't get to see him this game, but Grimmsnarl. You know Grimmsnarl. He's Prankster. He's bulky. He's good. He sets dual screens, Thunder Wave, and Darkness Lariat, because I think it's a really good move. Good coverage. Good everything. And it's the only dark... Is it? Yeah. Only dark move on the team. Really good. He has a Tower Master Ribbon. He's the best. <laughs> Grimstone is really good. Anyone who says otherwise is wrong. I'm sorry. He's just too good, and that's why they're saying it. But thank you guys so much for tuning today's video. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit that like, subscribe button. Don't forget, 14, I think was the number I said likes, and I will post this video on our on my social media. Make sure to follow me there. Um, 
yeah, but thank you guys so much for an awesome year, and I can't wait for 2020. As always, catch you later.